chose to tell if we're live or not. I'm getting all these funny faces. <laughs> so if we're live, just start putting your thumbs up. Let me know if you are in the community group or if you're on the Facebook page. Okay, so yesterday, some of you saw that Maria and I were playing in the kitchen and we wanted to do a private um, little demo, but it, it all went horribly wrong and it went live instead. So I thought, you know what, let's go with it. So, um, and it turns out that Maria, I'm going to blame Maria, because uh, she forgot to press the magic button for us to go live in the group. But hopefully, we think we've sorted it today. So, are we in both, Maria? Are we, Laura? Yeah. So, Laura is equipment dot. You want to see how much equipment <laughs> Laura's got behind her? If I could turn it round, she has got iPads, she's got computers, she's in, in control of everything, and John has gone to work, he's got a cart go. <laughs> So um, hopefully you're going to see us in both. So please let us know if you're in the group. Give us a thumbs up. Let us know that you're here. An occasional look heart would be really nice. And, uh, and say hi to us. So for those of you who are new to the Sugar and Crumbs Facebook Live, we do a live in my own kitchen. I'm Carol McFarland. Um, we do a live in my own personal kitchen. This is not a production kitchen. I say this every week and I know some of you guys, well lots of you guys hear this every week, but for the newbies, this is my own personal kitchen. Everything that's produced in this kitchen is not for public consumption, usually because Maria scoffs it first, mm -hmm. followed by the doggy walker, and then Laura might get a chance if it gets to the office, and then the warehouse lads get a chance after that. That's how it goes, isn't it, girls? <laughs> so, <laughs> so anything you see here. So do I wear an apron? No, I don't wear an apron. Do I tie my hair up? No, I don't. Sometimes I do. It depends how hot it is. Um, so everything that goes here, I want it to feel as though you're in your kitchen and you've got everything set up and you're just making things for family and friends. Now, professionals, if you are watching me, I am not going to use professional skills, professional techniques, simply because I don't know them. So there's no point commenting, telling me how to do it or I'm doing it wrong. I am going to do it my way. And my way is to encourage hobby bakers or people who don't bake to bake or people who want to bake but they're scared of baking. And the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen is all about showing you how to make things easy. So some things we, re well, we repeat, we repeat, we, you know, I get Laura, my daughter back on with two Lauras for the newbies. There's Laura on the camera and Laura, my daughter. So I get my daughter coming back, repeating things, I repeat things. And then we also do Facebook Lives on a Monday, again in this kitchen, where we'll either have myself or a demonstrator come along and demonstrate their products or maybe demonstrate some artistic skills for you. So they're more the professionals who will come along on a Monday, okay? So um, I don't know how many people are here. I'm yakitied on so that the group can get live. How are we doing, Laura? We're good. We're, we're hitting 90 on the Facebook feed at the moment. Yeah, and what are we doing on the group? Uh, can we tell? No, no, I can't tell you that at the moment, but we're definitely live. <laughs> we're definitely live. Are you sure we're live in both groups? Yes. Right, okay, so that's great. So we're getting to two audiences. So today, what I'm going to make is, we had Karen Davies in here um, earlier last year, and she came along and she did a demo using some of her moulds. And uh, I'm just going to show you them. They're all on our website. So any moulds that you see today are all on our website, and I'm just using a really good selection. And we're going to use Karen Davies' biscuit recipe, cookie recipe, whatever you want to call it, and I have adapted it to use the sugar and crumbs flavours. So where Karen has used the recipe and there's other things in, I have made this the sugar and crumbs way, so you couldn't make this recipe any easier. And it is fabulous. So what I will show you is, this is what we're making. So this is one batch of biscuits. So which camera can we see, girls? Yes. Yeah. Down a little bit. Perfect. So this is one batch of biscuits, and from here we got 23 biscuits. Now you can see they're all different shapes and sizes. So if you wanted to make small ones, you're going to get a lot more biscuits. And if you want to make larger ones, then you're going to get less. So it's very simple. Um, so this one, I've used the piped roses, daisy, the sequin mould. This is the dahlia mould. I love this mould. It's such a pretty mould. It makes a really nice thin biscuit as well. Um, I've used the rose, the large rose. If I'm not on camera girls, just tell me. Yeah. I use the um, peony rose. Peony rose, the peony. Okay. 
and then I use the large sunflower out of the buttercream flowers mold. So they look great, don't they? And they smell gorgeous. We've used blueberry as a flavour. I've used a large teddy bear and I've used the teddy bear's face. This mold's a great mold because it also has um, a little hat. So when you want to make a Father Christmas one at Christmas, um, you can use this one as well. So all those molds are on our website, which is www.sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. And all you do is go to Brands, drop down to Karen Davies, and you'll find all the molds there. So let's talk about the biscuit. It takes a few minutes, nice snap on them. So are we on camera? Nice snap. Wait a minute, can you hear it? Nice biscuit snap. So that's lovely, that's what you want, you know that they're right. So let's put them back over here. And then let's talk about these bad boys. So who's been getting these already in their parcels, this week's parcels? So we, I think we were a bit late dispatching them. When did they arrive? Did they arrive Monday, these? Yeah. So they arrived Monday, so already quite a few of you are getting them. So when you get a parcel from Sugar and Crumbs, which camera am I talking to them or there? So when you get a parcel from Sugar and Crumbs, there's always a little label on there. I'm in a relationship with Sugar and Crumbs. Um, you know, so it's just a bit of a joke, a bit of fun, okay? But lots of people really like those sticky labels because they see that parcel and they know that's the one that they're going to open first. And then, they obviously, they can't keep the sticker because it's stuck on the box, even though some of you do try to peel them off and reuse them. So we've started off with the fridge magnets. And um, they're tricky little things when they're in your hand. So um, fridge magnets... Which camera to look at? It's all it's all exciting in here. Yeah, <laughs> so fridge magnet. Let me just put that there. Can we see it? Yeah. So we've got a fridge mm -hmm. magnet. It's nice, nice dome shape. It's good quality magnet. So we're going to run a little competition once a month. So if you want to go back to there, Flora. So we thought for a bit of fun, we'll do a competition. There's two comps, and it will be to the 30th of June. So on the 1st of July we will pull the prize winner. So the first one is, is that you take a picture with you and your fridge magnet, okay? We need it with you because I want to make sure it's with you. You post it on your page and you go, I've got my fridge magnet. And then Laura, this is Laura's job, she's got to get everybody's name and put them in the drawer, okay? And I think we're gonna do one of those, um, I think there's a, a random calculator thing. So we're gonna log on to one of those put everybody's name in and then on the 1st of July we will then um, pick a winner from that drawer. So you only need to post it once so just say got my fridge magnet and um, I'm in love with the sugar and crumbs. You don't have to say anything just post a picture. So that's comp one and the prize for that is £25 worth of free products that you can buy. Then the other one is who can take their fridge magnet furthest across the world. So that means well, it's holiday time now. So all of you going on holiday, so take your magnet, whether you're going to be in Greece or Spain or France, and we'll put those people who have took them away on holiday into another drawer, okay? And that will be the holiday one. So hope you've got that. Does, does that make it clear? Have I made that clear? Yeah, I understand it. So hopefully that we do. And then what we're going to do is we've ordered loads of these. Everybody gets one in every order. So everybody who orders regular will be getting more of them. So because we know quite a lot of you order weekly, which is fantastic. We're very pleased that you support the company so much. And then I, in a couple next month, I'm actually going to buy badges so that we can put, a badge, put badges in for you. And then I'm going to go up a level and I'll talk to you more about it. But I'm going to order some bronze, silver, gold and platinum badges. And when they come in, so when the bronze ones come in, I'll talk to you about how you can get your bronze badge. You'll have to ask for it, but I'll tell you how you can get that and how you can get your silver badge and gold and become our platinum customer. So how great is that? Good fun, isn't it? So let's move these all out of the way. I think I've got to, let's chuck them over there now and let's get on with the cookies. So the cookie mix, very simple. We've got 400 grams of plain flour. 200 grams of blueberry flavoured icing sugar, 200 grams of softened butter, and one beaten egg. Move the moulds out of the way. And I'll tell you about each mould as we use them, so that you can see. So one beaten egg. I'm going to put gloves on today, amazingly, just so that nobody starts on at me about rolling stuff. So we do sell these gloves, by the way. We've always sold them. They come in um, a pack 
of 100 bloods. So if you only need one for picking or whatever, but, um, or if you need two. So, but because we're needing things, um, I'm going to use two. So I don't need them on yet, okay? Um, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to put the butter into the mixer. And it has to be softened, yeah? Just soft room temperature. Chop it up just to help. And we're just gonna have a little bit of noise off the mixer. Sorry about that, guys. Let me get that in there. Laura's moving the camera equipment now, okay? So I like to get every bit in so we don't waste it. There we go. And then we're going to put the, um, I'm just going to mix the butter for a minute first, just to get that nicely softened. And then the other thing, while that's mixing, let me talk to you, well, the other thing that we are going to use is, is that I'm going to show you how to use some of the colours and some sugar paste so that we make some um, sugar paste, some sugar toppings really. So I know that I forgot something. Um, when I go and put these in the oven, I'm going to get Laura to rush into the office there, um, or maybe, I don't know, I'll rush and go and get them because I know what I'm looking for. But I'm also some cake dough and cake toppers that I brought in. But I think I've done and left them on the table in the other office, but I'll go and get them out when we're ready. We don't need them yet. So let me just turn this up. Anybody getting any questions, Laura? I know you're saying the man has to be ready by then. Yeah, good. It'd be very good soon when we see who's the first one to get the platinum one. But it'll take a while yet. So, so sorry, Maria. There we go. So I'm just going to melt the butter, not melt the butter, just scrape the butter down the bowl and can they see on this camera? Uh, no, I don't have that one. You don't have that camera? Oh, yeah, so we're just going to scrape the butter down the roll. I've got my instructions out of the way, <laughs> my notes out of the way. <laughs> so that's all we're going to do, just mix it a little bit. Then we're going to add the icing sugar. This is blueberry flavoured icing sugar. I'm going to chop it in. Can you see that? We've also got Maria a nice little stick as well so that she's not butt jointed next to each of the demonstrators when they're in. Sometimes we do, we do feel that they are super glued together. I think Maria would like some space as well as the demonstrator. So we've got her on this handy little stick now. Don't know why we didn't think about it before. We've had this stick for years. Oh, I don't know. Sometimes things are a bit slow for us here, aren't they? So we're just going to chop this in, and if anybody's asking any questions, anything, Laura, just let me know. Uh, no, just lots of positive comments. That's what we like. So I put the oven on uh, 140 electric, fan assisted. I think that's two to three on a gas, or one to two, I'm not quite sure, and I can't remember what it is if you're not on fan, but it is on the recipe site. So talking about the recipe itself. We have a recipe website called sugarandcrumbsmixingitup.com, okay? If you look on the back of your ice back of the bag of your icing sugar, just gonna get this on, I'm just gonna pulsate this a minute, just so we don't get that icing cloud. So on the back of, are you here? Yeah. So every bag of icing sugar you get, it tells you about the uh, recipe website. Now, I haven't put one of the other bags, but it's usually in a pink banner. On the uh, summer editions bag, it is in this little blue one here, and that will give you our recipe website. So if you just go on there, in the search button, put biscuits or Karen Davies, and the recipe will come up and you can follow it and it's got the temperature guide and everything else on there plus if you put in there marshmallows or fudge or meringues pavlova it will come up with all the things that we've made in the past okay and uh, follow the recipe so we're back to our mix so let me just turn it up a minute Really, that smells nice. Is that good, Laura? So there we go. 
go, just incorporate that. So I've just got a quick question. Could you colour the biscuit mix? Um, you know what? I'm not sure. I, I see no reason why you couldn't colour the biscuit mix. We're going to colour these biscuits with some dust afterwards. Personally, I like biscuits to look like biscuits. So, um, but, so I don't know. Feel free, give it a go. But I don't think you'll have any problems with them. And that doesn't matter whether you're using, um, the, if you're using the colour splash range, they are bake stable, okay? The Fractal range that we use, they're bake stable as well. And we've started selling Pro Gel as well. So they're on the website. So you've got three lots of colours there to use. So just taking that off a moment. So I'm back here, just mix that in. Are we on this camera, Laura? Yeah. Okay. So you can see what's happened there. And then we're now going to mix in our beaten egg. So you don't just drop an egg in, okay? Just beat it, drop it in. And then the plain flour that we're using, there's 400 grams of plain flour, yeah? And we're gonna put in half. So we're just going to put in half, I think that's about half, it doesn't matter if it's a full half, but we're going to put in half. So again, I'm just going to chop it in because I don't want it to, um, what's I going to say to you? I don't want it to, um, I'll get my words out in a minute. What do I not want it to do? Form a cloud over the kitchen. Yeah. Um, just to answer Holly's question as well, mm -hmm. um, Holly Massey asked if the flavoured icing sugars and the cocoa powders are vegan. Yes, they yes. are. All our sugars are suitable for vegetarians, vegans, and uh, for a halal diet. There is no alcohol in any of our flavours. So even though we say we've got gin and tonic, prosecco, peach bellini, pili uh, pina colada, they're just made up, so they're like a mocktail. Um, so there's no alcohol at all. All the sugars are white in colour unless you order a chocolate one. So if you order anything with chocolate apart from the white chocolate, if it says white chocolate, that tells you itself it's white chocolate. But if it doesn't, it says chocolate, it's brown in colour. And the cinnamon swirl is a beige colour. And then come Christmas, we will be bringing out the apple crumble and that's a beige colour as well. So let me just turn the mixer back on. So we're just mixing it so it forms a dough. Just gonna do this. So just mix it so it forms a dough. Let's get my scraper again. And then we're gonna come to the messy bit. So for who's just joined us now, we are making biscuits using Karen Davies moulds. We're using Karen Davies recipe, but I've adapted it so that it, you can use it with the sugar and crumbs flavoured icing sugars. Because, you know, what we're all about here is about, about promoting my own company, Sugar and Crumbs. We're a new company. And when I say new, we've actually been going four years, but, you know, it takes you nearly four years to get your name out there. And uh, lots of people who come to the shows know who we are. And then I needed to you know, try and get it out there to the public. So we introduced our products via Hobbycraft and um, I started doing Facebook Lives so that you could get to know a little bit more about our products, get to know a little bit more about the staff who work for us and, um, and see what we're all about. And also learn how to use the sugars. They're not just for making buttercream. So here we're making um, biscuits. I've moved my notes because I've got lots of things to tell you. I'll just move those out of the way. So, sorry Maria, are we over here? Any problems with your new camera setup? So all we're going to do now is get the dough. I'm just going to scrape it out of the bowl. So if you wonder, all the newbies, if you wonder who Maria is, Maria comes in and she actually films what we're doing in the kitchen so that not everybody wants to watch an hour or an hour and a half of Facebook Live. 
she condenses it. So whatever we're making, she makes into a one minute video. So already, have you seen that moth orchid video that she's done for Marion who was in on Monday? Down to one minute is absolutely beautiful. So she's so clever. She's never allowed to go back to Spain, taking her passport off her. So, <laughs> so the rest of the flour, we're gonna put onto our baking board. Yeah. So, and then we're just gonna drop that onto it. I think I've got everything out of the bowl. So I think Maria's having a bit of problems with her camera angles. So we're just gonna make sure we get every bit because we don't wanna waste it because it could be a cookie, couldn't it? With a little biscuit. We don't wanna do that. So let me put that over there, Maria, sorry. Let me get my gloves on because this is the messy bit. As I say, if you sell the gloves on the website, we've always sold them on the website. They're really quite handy, really. And then we're going to knead in. So we're just going to knead it in until all the flour is incorporated. Yeah. So the recipe is 200 grams of unsalted butter. 200 grams of unsalted butter. 200 grams of flavoured icing sugar. You can use granulated and you can add liquid flavouring if you wish. But it's so much nicer with sugar and crumbs and that's what we're here for, to tell you how to use sugar and crumbs products. We're using blueberry flavour today. It takes a little bit getting, all the, getting it all incorporated, but we will get it all in. So it's 200 grams of um, butter, 200 grams of flavoured icing sugar of your choice. You mix them in the bowl. So mix the butter first. It's got to be softened butter, so it's got to be room temperature. Then you add the sugar, chop it in before you start mixing it. Once you've done that, add the egg, okay? One, one egg. I've used one large egg. And then you beat the egg and pour that into the mix. Just add that and then half of the 400 grams of plain flour. And the other half goes onto the worktop here and we're just gonna mold it all in. So it will go in, don't worry. It just takes a few minutes. I did this for the first time, this recipe last night. Laura, do you wanna say something? Or you're on camera action. Laura's got so much equipment behind her, she's looking seriously worried. <laughs> and I don't know whether that's because she needs to ask me a question or she's mortified with this new camera equipment. <laughs> so uh, it's really quite funny in here, really. So, uh, which way I can tell why John went to work and thought, oh God, no, I'm not doing it. So we're just going to keep moulding this in until we get all the flour incorporated. And um, just a quick question from Catherine Harris asking about where she can buy the board that you're using. Right, this is mats. not a board, it's um, a silicone mat. It's the largest silicone mat that we have. Um, I've always had them, um, I've always had one myself, but I've never put it on show until a couple of weeks ago because I sometimes worry about the price of things and think, oh, you know what, people aren't going to spend that amount of money for it. But it's £32.50. It should be £39.99. But I think I've got it on the website for £32 or £33.50. It's massive. It's got lots of things on it. It says amount of almond and sugar paste required when you're, when you're making your own sugar paste. It's got all the ingredients. What's it got here? It's got a size guide over here in this corner. It's got top tips. It's got metric tables in the other corner. And the important thing in the middle here, it's got the rollout. So you can actually roll out to um, 50, 20 inches. So if you need to cover a 20 inch cake, you can roll out to that. So when it's going in, so it takes a little while guys. We've got to get it all in. Making me wonder whether my butter wasn't softened or not. I did this last night, I'm sure it was a bit quicker, but I was talking to somebody as well. The thing when you go live is you get these little problems and you think, how are you going to solve them? So I'm just going to sit here and just worry about it, keep needing, so hold on. <laughs> I do feel confident it will all go in, <laughs> even though I'm getting seriously hot in the kitchen here. So Laura can keep asking the questions. Apparently, Marie, you are the silent hero. She is the silent hero. That's why I've taken her passport off her live and telling you that. She's never allowed to go back home to Spain. She's staying here. <laughs> we can't live without her. 
She saves us, honestly, she's so good. I am joking when I say I'm taking a passport off her by her way. Please do not take that seriously. You do have your passport, don't you, Maria? Good. Just to let you know, she does own it, as I'm just whipping her. <laughs> we've got a brother as well. A brother works in the warehouse, but we don't, we've not took his passport off him. He can go home. <laughs> Yeah, look, it's finally going in. Crikey, I'll have muscles at the end of this. <laughs> Sam Foreman said, anyone else feel they need to have a lottery win just to buy everything? I'm a total addict. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Sam. I was chatting to Sam this weekend. So, uh, right, so we finally got there. So it hasn't let me down, it has done it. I was seriously concerned, you know when you go live, and things aren't happening. I think I think you expect it to happen a lot quicker. And I'm like, oh my god, I've done something wrong here. So now it is crumbly, and Karen does say it's a crumbly mix. So I feel as though this is ready. Right, there you go. So are we on there? Yes. So they can see. Right, I'm just going to take my gloves off for a minute and I'm just going to go and tie my hair up because the wind's blowing and push my hair in my face. So I'll just go and wash my hands up in a minute. Um, quick question. Michelle Carter said, does it need to do a soft knead or can it be more vigorous? I don't know. I don't, know strong you are. <laughs> don't particularly care. <laughs> so just a minute, wash your hands. That's a good question, that a soft need or a vigorous one. I've no idea. But um, maybe I was being a bit soft with it there. So you do need some extra flour. What are we doing, Maria? I thought it was waving at me. What is that a new sign? <laughs> so funny being in here, you know. You know, if you ever come into the kitchen, I know some of you uh, and the audience have been in here. You come in and you've just got these lot. And I'm supposed to understand what it means. John's the weirdest one at doing the signals behind the camera. And you see me looking at him like that. Like what's going on? That's when he's not walking up and down to the fridge grazing. So we're going to just leave that there for a moment and you'll see that I've just got a couple of the moulds. So you may see them on the camera or not see them on the camera. So we're just going to give them a good dusting. Before any of you have heart attack, don't worry, we are tipping this out. We just want to make sure it gets all in the little crevices. So some of you have already got Karen Davies moulds. Have a look at what you've got, but also consider buying some more because he wants to do some business today. So, <laughs> so and I'll tell you which ones we're using. This is the sequin mould, piped roses. I'll show you afterwards. And then I'll show you each of the biscuit. This one's um, the peony, the large rose. So with the peony, you get the leaf, you get the bud, which is the centre. So you make that and stick that in there. I think you do. Then this is the rose. Now we will have some breakages because when I go live, everything always breaks. But let's not panic. So we're just gonna give everything a dusting. Who's on it here? We know Laura. Uh, it's Jane Temple. Hi Jane. Um, oh, I must thank Jane. Jane, um, my royal wedding cake for um, ITV Live. They, they asked, they asked um, cake bakers and they asked me a week last Friday would I do my take on a royal wedding cake. Then I had to come back with a name. I, I couldn't think of a name. Neither could Laura, neither could Maria. Neither could John. So I had to put it on the community and Jane Temple came up with the name when Harry uh, wed Meghan. And it was so funny. I don't, I don't know whether any of you had read this in the press, but they did a cocktail. Was it a cocktail that they made? They made a cocktail called When Harry Wed Meghan and our cake was named the same, so that was great. So thank you, Jane, for that name. Right, so we've done our brushed in. So I'm just gonna tap them out. So make sure you tap them out, don't leave that flour in. So give them all a tap. Got someone asking, does the dough need to rest in the fridge? It's going to. It's going Wait. To. Wait. 
Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I'll get there in the end. Doesn't need to rest in the fridge at the moment though. I did think that when I was following Karen's recipe last night, I thought I'm sure it's gonna rest in the fridge first. So what we're going to do is we're gonna take a bit of the dough off. Now I have taken my gloves off and I'm sorry about this, but I just can't work with gloves on. So I'm not pushing it into my nails, which is good. So we're just gonna form it into the teddy bear. So we're gonna form it into the teddy bear. Make sure you get his little ears in. So any of you who say I've got nail varnish on, I haven't got nail varnish on, I've actually got acrylic nails on. And to be fair, I don't care. I'm not gonna take them off for a demo. And as I don't make cakes professionally for anyone, and I only make them for us in the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. I don't feel I need to worry about it. And when I invite my family and friends round for tea, I don't gown myself up and start putting, taking my nails off. So this is in our own home, like it is in your home. So we've got Mr. Teddy Bear there. So we're just going to drop him out. And I've lost an ear, I told you we'd lose something. But anyway, we've lost one ear, don't worry. Let's get a bit more. It's quite a big biscuit him, so we're just going to have a little bit less there. Push that one around. So it's a bit boring me showing you all of them, but I need to show you all of them. So Laura, while you just while you just leave the camera on there, could you just go and make some room in the fridge, please? Okay. So we're on the centre camera. I need two shelves. Are we on these kinds of cameras? Yeah. So I need two shelves free. Just take everything out of the fridge. I'm just gonna, that's just a little bit too much. So roll it up again. Push it all in, make sure you get it pushed in everywhere. So while I'm doing this, let's talk about a few other things. Um, where's my notes a moment? Get my notes. Let's talk about a few things so that we're just not talking about that. Okay, so I want to say a big thank you to Marion who was here from Patchwork Cutters on Monday. I should remember to thank all our guests when they come here. So Marion was here and she did that moth orchid and she did the clematis and she did the nursery block, which was amazing. So well done to Marion for that. And then um, the Facebook community. So those people who are watching on the page, if you're not a member of the community, do pop over and join, it is great, okay? And those people who are on the community, I'm very keen about you keeping it nice, okay? Now, this world's a horrible world as it is. So in a group, can we just keep it nice? And if you see anybody with any negativity or anything like that, just tell them, let's go back to nice. If you've got nothing nice to say, don't say it. It's just not worth it. Um, you know, there's people out there that they do baking because they're not professionals, they make mistakes, you know, and they go on there and they're really chuffed with their creative bake. And then, you know, it may not be as perfect as yours, it may not be brilliant, but you know what, it's good to them. So, you know, just help them along and tell them. You don't have to tell them it's amazing, it's fantastic, you love it, but you know what, give them a little love heart, give them some positivity, help them. There's people on there that, you know, they've never made anything, they've just tried something the first time. And do remember, you yourself tried something the first time. So remember what it was like when you tried something. And if you were perfect at cake decorating and baking the first time, well, how good is that? But you know what? You would have been rubbish at something else in your life and you would have needed support. So maybe you might have been rubbish at sport or swimming or something, you know, just think about it. We've all had times where we've had challenges put in front of us and it's just nice to have a little bit of a well done, a pat on the back. Um, self-promotion, no self-promotion on the group. So you can't be asking people to like your page. And I'll tell you why that is. Facebook has a thing that if you start asking everyone to like your page, after about 50 likes, so let's say me, I went on and liked about 50 pages, Facebook will block me and it can block me for 24 to 48 hours because they see me as a spammer. So that's why I don't want that. Yes, it does work, but if you do read on groups, you'll find that a lot of people have been kicked off, and it's simply because of that reason. 
okay and then promoting if you see a product you want to promote it you know if you've used a product feel free now a lady promoted this product the other day so Nikki Sissons I think it was so she promoted this product the other day I don't mind you promoting products on the website I really don't want you to promote other companies where you buy from and it's simply because I'm funding this page so I'm funding it with you know me Maria paying the staff to help uh, look after the page and you know I just like if we can if I sell that product and I'd really like it go back to myself you don't have to buy off me I'm not saying that but as I'm as it is the sugar and crumbs community I'd like to be given an opportunity that is that product on our page if it's not ask me if I can stock it bring it in but I really don't want to see other suppliers on there and I also the biggest thing I don't want to see on there is I do not want to see any copy sellers so if you've got anything that you have bought from Aliexpress that's a, a copy you know what send me the picture and I'll tell you whether it's got a patent to it or not okay but if somebody owns that design I do not want it on our group okay so I don't want to see any Karen Davies fake molds on there and you know they are about I don't want to see any Katie Sue's on there I don't want to see anybody's copies on there it's not fair FMN cutters I don't want to see any of them so I'm not going to do all this because it's going to take me all day while I'm talking to you so I'm just going to get these out we'll put these on the tray and I'll do a few at a time while we're going along so hopefully you all understand where I'm coming from does that all make sense is there any comments about that Laura no just people saying that it's actually a lovely group some really good support on there um, and everyone's very happy to share their tips and things and, and positive. And that's what it's about, really. You know, it's about sharing your pictures, your ideas, giving people inspiration, sharing your recipe. You know, if you've had a delivery from us, take a picture. Not from anybody else, but from us. <laughs> so, um, so there's a couple of the um, biscuit moulds I've used. What have I not used there? So I've not used this one. So let's do this one. Let's see if I can pull them all out. So, so I hope, I hope you don't mind. I think the rules are fairly simple. And you know, I've been on other forums and I've seen rows go on there. Why? You know, life's short. Why are we having a big row over a frigging cake? There's no need to be. You know, let's just, let's just keep it nice. If it can't be nice, leave. Simple. Anyhow, the other thing is, I do want to show you, but I've got to practice. I had a lovely lady in here this week who showed us how to make sugar paste with our flavoured icing sugar. Pink lemonade, Nikki Shelvin. So, um, thank you Nikki, I know she's watching. So, um, Maria has videoed her, and, uh, well videoed her hands anyhow, and we're going to do a little video on um, how to make sugar paste with our flavoured icing sugar. And I have to say, a few people have asked me before, can you make it? And I said I have heard people make it, but I've never made it myself, so I don't really know. But Nikki came along, she brought plenty of samples, and it is gorgeous. Okay, there's a few tricks as well. So if you, you know, you might need a bit more gum tag, if it's not strong enough, you might need to add a bit more liquid glucose. But I'm sure when you put posts up, when, when Maria does it, uh, puts the video up, I'm sure that if any of you ask questions, Nikki would be more than happy to answer them. So what cake have we not got here then? I've got this one uh, let me just see what cake have we not got what biscuit have we not got so uh hope you're not too bored guys everything's all all right are we all are they all still there yeah right? there's lots, Let's of, lots of people still here um christy nolan we do sell gift vouchers um i'm not sure if they're on the website as a product at the moment but you can drop us a message and we can sort it out for you yeah if you drop if you drop a message to Laura, or if you drop it to our Facebook page, um, or you can actually email Laura and phone us, okay. But if you want to if you want to email Laura, and for people who are abroad, I don't know if there's anybody in America. I get loads of requests from people in America they can't buy off our website, and the reason you can't buy is is that because it's got to go across air. The product isn't just a standard postage. It's not like we can say oh it's seven ninety nine postage or something. Basically, it goes by weight and volumetric size, is it, Laura? Yeah. So, like, I've just sent a, a parcel to my daughter in Australia. I've actually had to take the packaging off everything 
um, to get it into the box. And what did it cost us in the end? A certain bit. How much was That's it? £60. About £60. Pound. And uh, all I've done is I've sent her a hairdryer that she left behind. She ordered a Hoover hose for her Henry. Had to send that. My granddaughter left a dress behind, socks and other things, but it cost me £60 to get it there. I do only do a track service because things take a long time to get to other countries and then I get people messaging me, where's the parcel? And they get panicky and if I can't track it, then I can't tell them where it is. So paying for a track service, you will pay a bit more. So those people who are in America, well, anywhere outside of Europe, lost a bit of that biscuit, but we won't worry. He's big enough as it is. Um, anybody who's outside of Europe, if you just message me, I can let you know how much postage is. You just need to tell me what it is going to take you would like, that you would like. I'll get my words out in a minute. Right, okay, so I think that will do for now, and I'll come back to that. So let me just go and get a board. Two sheets. In fact, the sheets are here. Brilliant. So all we're going to do now is lift them up and put them on the tray. So I'm just going to put the thinner ones on this tray because they'll bake a bit quicker. I am going to use all the recipe, all the biscuit up afterwards, but I'll make it up afterwards. Oh, do you want to pass me some cling film out the drawer behind you? So just spread them out. You can actually put more on there. If anybody wants to know what these are, they're these, okay? So they're these, they're called Bako, Bako mats. Let's see if we can get this one out of here. So I don't know which camera you're on, Laura. So they're called Bako mats. They do go off colour when you use them because they go in the other oven, but they're great. They're washable, you can reuse them. If you've got the macron ones, you can use those as well. So, you know, those aren't just for macrons, you can use them as your baking sheets. You'll notice I've cut these because I've cut them to the size of my. Um, flat tin that I've got in there. So let me just see, I'll put that over there, can't wait. Right. No, no oh, oh, we'll do. It's only just so I can out this mould. Okay, let's put these on here. These, because these are bigger ones, I just know that when they go in the oven, I'm going to put them in for a bit longer. So, and then what we're going to do now is we're going to put these in the fridge for 15 minutes. So the lady who asked, do we need to chill them? This is when they get chilled. Yeah, so just hang on a second while I run around to the fridge. Laura. I don't need to confirm that. Guys, hope you a minute. Tell them when we showed you a backdrop of my background going in the fridge, but Laura's been told under no circumstances that she to do that today. Just let me wash my hands a moment, maybe as well. So brilliant, thank you. So can I have that tin Laura? Thank you. So I'm just going to wrap up the rest of the um, dough and I'll use it afterwards. So after this slide, I'll actually do the rest of them and then put them out. You're not going to want to sit and watch and do all of them all together. So let me clean up my little top. So it's 11.47, so 15 minutes in the fridge and they take about 15, 20 minutes um, in the oven. Now, the thinner they are, the less time they take, yeah? Uh, the thicker they are, the longer they take. I will tell you, on the baking sheet that I've just told you, they do take a little bit longer. And I think that's because, um, I think when it's on parchment paper and it's on the pan, um, the heat from the pan is sort of crisping them up a bit quicker. So uh, let me just get this out of the way. Can't Riley that. did say that she's coloured her biscuits before, but people actually seemed a bit dubious of yeah. them. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't think coloured biscuits look right in my mind. I wouldn't be too keen on having a full coloured biscuit. Um, I think biscuits should look like a biscuit. So these are the ones that we did earlier. Let me get rid of the cloth. 
And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, get some bones. I'm going to get these. I'm just going to get some of these. Let's see if we can use them. Yeah, we can use that one. So I'm just going to clean these out a minute just so that we can use these for some sugar paste toppers. The good thing with dusting these with flour or with um, a bit of icing sugar, not icing sugar for the cookies, but if you're going to use them for your um, cakes, for your, for your sugar paste toppers, they do, you don't need to keep washing them, you can just reuse them. So, um, if you are enjoying it today, I'd like you to do a few like and shares for me. So, afterwards, when we finish this tutorial, uh, Facebook Live, please like the page afterwards, please share it. And the biggest um, thing that you could do for me is go over to YouTube, because Mar Laura, uh, Maria will put it on YouTube this afternoon. When it's live on YouTube, even if you don't want to watch it again, just give us the thumbs up for it. You do have to subscribe with your email address. Um, that's just so that YouTube know that you're a genuine subscriber, not somebody just going pinging along. But it would really help if you just press that button for us and build up our YouTube um, audience. So for those who've just joined us, I've already snapped one biscuit. Are we down here? Yeah, yeah I've snapped one biscuit, so we're just going to snap it again so that you can tell it's got a nice crunch on it. Did you get that, Marie? Yeah, so it's got a nice biscuity crunch. So they're ours to scoff. And then we're just going to quickly decorate a couple of them. Yeah. So let's put a couple of these on. And let's just use some of the dust to decorate them with. So some of the dust that we're going to use is, um, I've got a lovely pink there. So this one is called Petal Pink. So I'm just gonna, anything that's out of camera, Laura, let me know, will you? Yeah, okay. I've got a lovely Petal Pink. Um, we've got a Dusty Pink as well. That's a little bit too much. We've got dusty pink as well. Let's use some of this gold, sparkling gold. If you want to know what sugars I'm using, uh, what co what colours I'm using, I'm using the um, sugar, um, uh, the colour splash range, and I'm using the fractal range. So sorry, I only need a bit. So I just get them out. Always put them in the lid because if you put them in the lid, you can put them back into the container. Okay, if you. Um, if you don't put them in the lid and you put them in a dish, then you usually can't use them again. It's a bit difficult to try and get them out of the dish. So let me just see what we've got here. So let's just have a little play with these. Just try and give some a bit of a shine. And then we're going to decorate some cake toppers. So now you get your brush. When you come to clean your brushes, um, when you've used powdered um, powders, don't wash them in water. Have yourself a little bowl of corn flour and then just, um, or even like we'll use this plain flour here. So just dab your brush in the flour and just clean your brush that way. I'm just gonna sit down. And then what we can do is we can just Do a little bit of the centre, just on our biscuits. So we'll just make it a bit darker in the centre there. And then you can just dab your brush. If you get a bit of kitchen roll, don't press that kitchen roll there. So any excess, dab onto your kitchen roll if you want to. If you've got too much on, put this on here. So I'm hoping you can see and I'm not going out of camera. No, you won't. And then what we can do is we can just brush the end of them, give them a bit of colour. I think that's probably a better way to sort of colour them up. Maybe I should have done that as a bit of a yellow, I don't know. But just go over the edges. 
give them a bit of a dusting like that and then that way people won't be too scared to eat it they won't feel as though they're having all those colours shoved down the throat and it'll look like a normal biscuit here on the teddy bear what we can do is we can just do them a couple of bit of rosy cheeks They lost an ear by the way, <laughs> there it is. Don't worry, he's gonna be scoffed in a minute so don't worry about him. <laughs> okay, we'll do a little bit of dusting in his ear. We can go a bit mad and color his eyes in if we want to. And then this one, let's use a bit of the gold. Yes, I've just put the same brush, doesn't really matter. And we're just gonna take a bit of the gold on here, brush a bit of this on. This is all edible colours, by the way, that I'm using here. So if you just want to bling your biscuits up a little bit, bling on this gold. This is lovely, this gold. I don't know how well you can see it in it's the camera. It's just, just about picking up a bit of a is shimmer. It? it does look nicer here. I'll try and put a bit more on. How can you see it on your camera, Maria? Can you probably get it for the video, do you think? And um, just while you're doing that, Carol, um, yeah. Deb has asked, can they go on lolly sticks? Yes, they can, okay. So the lolly sticks you need to put in, so when you take them out the mould, you need to push your lolly stick into the back straight away. I think that if you wanted to do, me personally, I know Karen puts the lolly stick in and then it's just one on there. I would actually put two flowers back to back. And the other thing is, I'd be really very careful is, especially with the big ones, you know, one bite, it is a biscuit, so one bite and then it might just break off. I haven't tried it myself, but that would be my concern that, you know, one big bite of a biscuit and then, um, let's just do that in the middle there. So as we go around, so you notice there's a bit darker there, so we're just going to go around and luster it up with that gold. Yeah? Does that pull it together yeah. more? it's lovely. Yeah, so just always darker in the centre. And then the excess just goes off. So, um, Laura, can you have a look at my box? If there's a, a yellow there for me, please. Um, you just remind the brands of the colours, the different colours right. that you use. So the colours that we're using is this colour splash range. This is beautiful, okay? We're going to use some other colours shortly. So we're using this colour splash range. And we're also using the fractal colours, okay? Um, this one's golden shine and this one is sparkling gold and it really does sparkle, look at that, really does sparkle, it's absolutely lovely, super. And uh, we've got a purple there as well. So we've got a pearl yellow here, so let's just do the yellow. Yeah, the violet would be nice as well. So let's just get the violet there and uh, we'll use the pearl, purple actually like things that bling, twinkle. Sure must have been a magpie in the suit in my previous life. So we'll use, so we're gonna use the purple, the petal, the dusky pink, and one of the gold. So let's get a brush. So for the yellow, let's do a couple of these. So let's just do a couple of edges round here. So you can, you, you only need to be rough, you know, you don't need to be all delicate, it all blends in together. Can you see that on the camera yeah. there, Laura? Yeah. It doesn't all need to blend, blend in. Don't worry about excess, we'll sort that out in a minute, okay? This is about, so you professionals who are having a nosy at the moment, stop having heart failure, okay? We're talking to people who can't bake or a novice and they just want to have a go. So we're gonna do that one. Do a couple of pinks round here. Um, these brushes we do sell on the on the website. The purple ones are out of stock. I've still got a few blue ones. I think they're two ninety nine a set for ten brushes, which is quite good. So we'll have a couple of those pink ones around here. Um, Tina Pine is just asking, do we sell the Karen Davies fruit mould? We do. It's yes. on our website. We've got loads of moulds. I actually don't know how many we've got. I think we've got about forty, haven't we? A lot. Loads of them. <laughs> Is it? The, if, I'm assuming it's the tropical fruit. It's the tropical fruit. It's called tropical fruit. And Karen is coming back with us in a few weeks. She's on holiday at the moment in Italy, enjoying herself. 
but um, I've just been talking to her, so I want her to come back to do a full demo on the fruit moulds and the um, pineapple and the mermaid. So she's going to come back and do something with that. And then in here, so where's my other brush that I used before? So then get yourself a big dusting brush, okay? So I sell this as well. I don't, I don't know what that is. I think that's possibly two ninety nine. So just give the excess a quick wipe off. And then we're going to go over there on the gold, put a bit of bling on, and just gold it up. And if you want to get really funny and do a couple of little centres, you could do your yellow inside your pink. Do that. And just have fun, just sit here and play. Don't worry about it, they're all going to look good. You know what, when you give them to your friends, they're going to think you're amazing. Yeah? And then uh, for, the, for the pink there, which brush did I use for the pink? Just brush that off. For the pink, just stick a little bit of pink in there. You can do any colour you want. Don't panic about it, it's all meant to be relaxed. Enjoy doing it with the kids, have fun. Yeah? And then here, yeah, my doggies in the background. The doggy walker's here today, taking them all out. So that's little Chip who's getting all excited. So just have fun with them. We've got the lilac here as well. So let's do the lilac on this one. So again, we're just gonna put the, the darkest lilac in the middle. So again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Don't worry about it. So we're just gonna put the dark lilac in the purple. And you know, you don't have to color these biscuits. Leave them as biscuits. People will be just really chuffed and amazed at how you've created these flower biscuits. You don't need to tell them how you've done it. Just let them think how wonderful you are. So and Brain's I, also just recommended to you know, use you know the um, the glitter puff pumps. Yeah, I've got the glitter puff really pumps. Nice. Yeah, I've got nice them finish. behind me. I should grab a few of those. Just hang on a minute. Sorry, isn't this you getting them, Maria? Yeah. Yeah. So, like I said, you can leave them plain if you want to, or you can dust them up if you want to. You can do what you want with them. It's entirely up to you. It's your biscuit. Do what you like. You don't have to do what anybody else tells you. It's about enjoying yourself in your own kitchen, doing your own thing. Yeah? Do you agree with that, guys? That's how I work. And I never worry about anybody being negative about whatever I'm doing, and I get a lot of negativity. Uh, I get more positivity than negativity, but unfortunately, you can have 98% positivity and you get two people on who's quite negative and it can upset you all day. And I've just learned, you know what, don't let it upset you. You know, if that, they're just having a bad day and feel sorry for them for not being positive. So, the little, the little dust displays, sprays that we've got, that, um, who was it who just said? Sabrine. Sabrine. Okay, we've got these in some fabulous colours. And I'll tell you which companies they are. They are all on our website. And let's see. So we've got House of Cake. They've got this lovely gold colour. Silver. And I think this one is their rose colour. And this is their blush. So those are lovely colours. And you just pump those on. And this one is Sugar Flare. They've got the extreme gold, look at that blue. Can you imagine squirting that onto the side of your cake, okay? And we've also got the violet shimmer. Um, personally, I wouldn't use these to just go straight onto a fondant cake. If you pump these straight onto a fondant cake, you'll come down the next morning and half of it will have fell off, okay? These are for just pumping over the cake. So decorate your cake, do your sugar paste, okay? Color your sugar paste. And then this is to give a nice little um, pump of colour over. So let's try this purple one here. And we'll also have a look at these sparkling sugar crystals as well. So because I've used purple on here, let's do this one. I'll just quickly show you how it works. So give it a shake. Let's get the pump action going. Yeah, oh look, can you see all that glitter on there? Pretty enough. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it on the camera very well? You might have to just tip the biscuit a little bit just so we can catch the light. Can you see it very well? You can see it here. I don't want to put too much on because I don't want to... Just 
just about. We just about <laughs> see it. Well, it's very sparkly here and on this side. Um, we could go 